Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a physics based um, iOS app. So I've got it right here, this is what we've been making. Um, it's running on the iPhone 6s simulator. Um, so basically we have three UI labels here, we've got label 1, label 2 and label 3. And then we have a button. And if we click the button, the labels will drop to the bottom of the screen and they'll bounce off each other like there is gravity in this app basically. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to add gravity, collision, and the bounciness of all the labels. And uh, yeah, you can include this in your own apps, and it's a lot of fun really just messing around with these kind of physics things. All right, so let's get started. So we're going to need to stop this. And let's go and create a new Xcode project, single view application. You want to make sure this is on Objective-C, just because I'm doing that for this video. And we'll call this... Um, dropper. Alright, let's create. And the first thing we're going to do is go into the main.storyboard so we can set up the interface. So we're going to have, I'm going to put this on an iPhone 6 screen, so 4.7 inch. And let's quickly drag in um, the labels and the buttons. So we want label, and this will be just called label1. And then just copy that three times and position them wherever you want. You can do this with more than three labels and you can do it with pretty much any UI element. So we'll just position these up here, here and here. So it's kind of good if they're quite close but a little bit far apart as well. So that they do actually um, like land on each other and you'll see the cool effect of this bounciness. All right, so now we also need the button and we'll just put that in the center. All right, so now let's connect all these elements to the code. So go into the view controller.h and we're going to connect these with IB outlet. So we'll do IB outlet UI label and this one will be label one. And then you can just copy this two times more and rename them to label two and label three. All right, now go back to here, click on the top of the view controller and then go to the arrow at the end here and then you see in the outlets it's label 1, label 2 and label 3 just go and connect these to the right label alright now we need the action for the button so we're going to go into viewcontroller.m and you don't need to do anything in view did load you just leave that as it is drop under where it says implementation view controller and we're going to do the IB action so IB action button pressed and then in here, we're going to set up all the gravity, all the collisions, and all the stuff like that. So, let's declare the, um, the gravity and all the stuff like that first up in the interface. So, drop down here, open a curly bracket and return, and it will put in a closing one for you. Now we need UI Dynamic Animator, and this will be called Animator. Then we need UI Gravity Behavior for the gravity and this will be called gravity then we need UI collision uh, collision behavior and this will be for the collision of the bottom of the screen and um, the labels so that they can actually collide with each other and then finally UI dynamic item behavior and this will be for the bounce alright so once you got that now we can actually code it in here so first of all we'll do the animator Animator equals UI dynamic animator alloc in it with reference view. So this is going to be the view that you want the um, animator to work with. So it will just be the view controller that we set up first. So self dot view. All right. Now we need the gravity. So let's do gravity equals UI gravity behavior alloc, and this will be in it with items. Now this is going to be an NS array, so do an at symbol and an open uh, square bracket. Now you can basically put the list of the items you want this to affect. So you want to be affected by gravity, you want all three labels. So in this array, you just want to put label one, label two, and label three separated by commas. All right, now you need to add the gravity to the animator. So do animator add behavior gravity 
All right, so now they're going to have gravity. So all them labels will just drop to the bottom of the screen and they'll actually go off the screen right now because there's no collision. So we're going to test that out. Um, or first, actually, we need to link the IB action to the button. So go back to your main.storyboard, click on the view, and then go to the last tab again. And in received actions right at the bottom, you'll see button pressed. So you want to drag that, connect it to the button, and I'm just going to do touch down. All right, so we're going to run this quickly. Um, I'm going to choose iPhone 6S. And yeah, we're going to run it in the simulator, and I'll show you what it does so far. All right, so we've got our labels here. We're going to click the button, and as you can see, they just fall right off the bottom of the screen. So we need to add the collision next. So we're going to go back into here, back into the button pressed method, drop a few more lines, and we're going to do collision equals UI collision behavior lock in it with items. And once again, this is the, the free labels again. So you just want to copy this NS array from here. And then close that. Now we need to add the collision to the animator, just like we did with the gravity. So do animator, add behavior, collision. So now the collision has been added. So now we're going to quickly test that as well. So you should see that the labels will basically collide with the bottom of the screen and they'll stay there. So let's drop them. And actually that did not work. Um, oh, sorry, we forgot one line. We missed out this dot. Collision dot translates reference bounds into boundary. You want to make that equal to yes. And that will basically make them collide with the bottom of the screen. So click the button. And as you can see, they are all laying at the bottom of the screen now. So we've got our collision set up. And uh, it's pretty cool app so far, really. But we, there's no bounciness to the labels. So we're going to add that uh, next. So drop a few more lines. And do bounce equals UI dynamic item behavior alloc in it with items and once again it's the same item so just copy this NS array now you want to do bounce dot elasticity now this is how much they're going to bounce um, by so elasticity oops, equals and then you uh, this is a CG float so between 0 and 1 so if you put 1 it means that the label is going to bounce to the bottom of the screen and it's going to, oh, sorry, it's going to fall to the bottom of the screen. Then it's going to bounce all the way back up to where it was dropped. So you don't really want that. You want a bit more realistic. So we're going to do 0.6. I'd stay between 0.6 and 0.8, roughly around there. All right, and then we need to add um, the bounce to the animator. So animator, add behavior, bounce. And that is pretty much it. So let's go and run that. And they should bounce off of each other and off of the bottom. So as you can see, they're a little bit more bouncy now. So if you just play around with these numbers, you can create some quite cool things. I'll show you if we do put it onto one, they're going to bounce a lot more than uh, if it's a lower number. So as you can see, they're bouncing quite a lot there and they're spinning each other around. So yeah, it's quite fun to watch, and as I said, you can do this with pretty much any UI element that is in the object library down here. So like, you can do it with um, image views, steppers, progress views, switches, sliders, all this stuff basically. And uh, yeah, you can have a lot of fun with this, and uh, you can just prank your friends if you make some sort of app that looks quite professional, then they're going to click a button and it's all just going to collapse to the bottom of the screen. Um, it can be quite fun. So, yeah, that is how you use UIKit Dynamics to make a physics based iOS app. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more, and I will see you next time.